Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video because I will be walking through our newest launch, blushes. And these come out June 30th on sephora.com and lawlessbeauty.com. And blushes are one of those products that you guys have been requesting from me since the time I launched my brand. Like whenever I tease a launch that's coming up, you guys always say, I hope it's blushes and I hope it's lip liners. So I finally have blushes for you. I've been working really hard on this formula to make sure that it's something super beautiful. I have a really hard time finding powder blush formulas that I love, but I'm someone that sets my face, so I'm not a cream blush kind of girl because once I set my face, then I can't go in with a cream product on top. So I'm always on the hunt for a powder formula with a velvet finish that gives my cheek area sort of that youthful dewy glow and doesn't look powdery or cakey because I think it's so beautiful to have some radiance to the cheek area especially. Um, so this formula has some really beautiful ingredients that help achieve that in a powder finish. So I'm really, really excited about this launch. Um, I will leave all the information below. I do believe that the product page is live on Sephora now just ahead of time so you can add it to your likes or favorites to get notified when it does go live and check out the shades. But I wanted to do a dedicated video here on my channel because I know that a lot of you guys find these really helpful just to come back and reference it as you're shopping. And especially right now with COVID-19 and not being able to really shop for makeup in store, I know that sometimes it can be like shooting in the dark um, trying to find the right shades for you. So I wanted to make it simple and do swatches on my arms so you can compare them, see them real time next to each other and really understand what shades might be best for you. I personally wear all of these shades depending on the makeup look that I'm using. I really developed this to kind of give the full range of every blush I could possibly need in my toolkit. There are seven shades. Sorry, my feet are falling asleep. There are seven shades and there's some cool tones, some warmer tones, some are light, some are super deep. So there's truly something for everyone. And I'm someone that really loves using blush to sort of match the rest of my makeup, whether I'm doing a fully monochromatic makeup look or I'm just, you know, dragging the cool tones from my eyes onto my cheeks and into my lips so I can have a fully cooler warm tone look. Um, I just think that can be so beautiful. So I'm constantly rotating and shifting my blushes around and I really enjoy um, using blush even on my eyes sometimes that's actually a great tip anytime you finish your eye look once you do your blush just swiping a little bit of that shade in the crease really helps tie the whole look together so there's lots of great uses for blush and it's one of those things that I use even on like very minimal makeup days or for workouts just to give some life and dimension and youthfulness to my skin so I'm really excited about them so let me just walk you through them I'll get started so this is the box that you'll receive them in. It's just a standard paper and a matte finish with this ombre pink design, and then the shade will be on top. So in store, when we can shop in store, they'll be super easy to not grab the wrong thing because you'll be able to see the shade, and it'll be very easy to just grab the shade that you're looking for. And then this is the component. So it's our standard matte black component. It does have a mirror inside, so it's great for travel. It's great for on the go. Um, and it's actually a pretty substantial sized mirror, which I always appreciate because a lot of times when I'm throwing something in my bag like this, I end up using the mirror in a pinch when I need it, like in the car or for touching up, even if I'm using other products. So I always like having something with a mirror. So this is a great size mirror um, and it does have our standard magnetic closure. And like I said, it comes in seven shades. So I wanted to first talk about the formula and and I'll walk you through the shades. For me, powders are always kind of my preference for blush. I'm not really a cream blush kind of person, mostly because I always set my face. After going in with foundation and concealer, I am someone that puts powder all over. And once you set your face with a powder, it's very difficult to go in with a liquid or cream over without kind of muddying up the powder and making it look cakey and bunchy. So I always use powder formulas for my blushes, um, but the trick is making it still look beautiful and dewy and not having a lot of powder on your face once you go in to set your face with powder, bronze with powder, and then blush with powder, and then highlight with powder. So having powders that have some emollients to them really helps make them look seamless and melt into the skin. And that was really my biggest goal with this formula. So three ingredients that I incorporated in here to achieve that are shea butter, squalene, and sweet almond oil. And these three ingredients are beautiful, non-comedogenic ways of getting a hydrated, dewy look to a powder um, and just sort of giving it that velvety, buttery finish. So shea butter is very protective to the skin's moisture barrier, but it's completely non-comedogenic and it just gives some hold and grab to the powder to kind of help it 
um, stay together and not give that like super powdery, dusty look. Um, squalene is the closest to our skin's natural oil that can be found in nature. It's derived from olives, so it's a really beautiful oil to put in the base of powders because it incorporates really naturally and it just kind of settles into the skin in a really beautiful way. And then sweet almond oil is super antioxidant and I really love it for the face because it's just so great throughout the day to protect from pollutants um, and just any sort of environmental aggressors like sunlight and just those things that can kind of impact our skin in the long term and damage the skin. It has a lot of antioxidant properties to prevent that. So. Those are the three ingredients that really help give it that buttery, velvety finish. And you can even feel it when you swatch them. They just have this really beautiful, non-powdery kind of finish. And they're very pigmented. And the emollients in the base of this powder really helps with that because pigmentation can kind of get swept away in anything that's too loose and powdery. So having kind of that hold from these beautiful hydrating ingredients really helps the color to adhere to the skin and melt in beautifully. Another great benefit to this formula is that it's talc free. So it's a mica base. And the great thing about that is talc is much more dense and heavy than mica. So mica has a lot more of a feathery, um, kind of airy finish. So it really doesn't leave that heavy powdery look on the skin. It just kind of glides on. And it's just a much lighter base for powders. So I really love it for that reason. And also just because talc is obviously not the best ingredient that we wanna be inhaling because it can be contaminated with asbestos. So I always formulate without talc. Um, but that's another great benefit is it just makes powder formulas a lot lighter and more skin-like. So I'm gonna start with the lightest shade, and this is Sakura. And Sakura is a light coral pink with warm undertones. So it's sort of like that baby pink, but it has that flash of coral. It's not a blue-based, cool-toned pink. It's got a little bit more of that coral and yellow in its base to really help make it more wearable. So it's not that like bubblegum candy pink. It's really like that natural, very light pink flush. This is great on light skin tones, and I actually personally use this a lot as a finisher. Like I use this in here. Most days I'm doing kind of a corally pinky blush look because it just kind of helps bring light right there. I just love the way it draws the eyes in and kind of gives that pillowy poutier effect on the cheek. This next shade is called Vintage Love and I personally anticipate this being our best seller because it's just a really beautiful, universally flattering neutral pink with a somewhat plummy base, very slight, and it's just a neutral tone. So this is like a very classic standard go-to everyday blush for a lot of people. And I personally find myself reaching for this the most because it's kind of a chameleon. It can go with any eye look. Um, it's one of those things that you can throw on whether you're wearing cool toned eyeshadow, warm toned eyeshadow, a coral lip, a nude lip, a pink lip, a red lip. It just looks good with everything. Um, so I really love this shade and I think that this is like an essential in everybody's toolkit. This next one is probably the most me blush. Um, this is like my my kind of favorite blush shade in the range. Um, I wear Vintage Love the most just for utility because it goes with everything, but I would say this is the shade that just I gravitate to the most because you know I'm a warm tone kind of girl and I love my peachy, orangey eye looks. Um, and this is just that great way to get that kind of monochromatic, warm toned look all over. And I even love sweeping it, this into the crease of my eyeshadow just to tie everything together. Um, but this one is called Angel Suede and this is just your classic matte soft peach. It's really beautiful on all skin tones and if you are somebody that typically goes for cool tone blushes, I highly recommend giving peaches a try. I used to be like all about blue based pinks back in college and then I remember I bought my first peach blush, I think it was like Bobbi Brown and I was like converted ever since. It just brings so much warmth to the skin. It looks beautiful in the summertime, it looks beautiful over bronzer and this is just one of my favorite shades of all time. This next shade is called Phoenix, and I named it Phoenix because that's my hometown. And anytime I see this cut type of warm burnished apricot shade, um, I totally just think of the earth tones that I grew up around in the desert, and I just think of Phoenix. So, like I said, this is a warm burnished apricot. It's sort of like that beautiful terracotta. And this one is the only one that does have this slight sheen at its base. I wouldn't call it a metallic blush. I wouldn't call it a shimmery blush. Um, you would barely notice it, but it just has this very slight sheen. Um, which I just find so beautiful. So I love wearing this shade actually in conjunction with, let me find it, um, Angel Suede. They're beautiful together because they both sort of have that orangey base. 
um, and I like to do this one all over and then just pop Phoenix right here in the center just to give that extra healthy flush and it looks beautiful when you're doing like a bold eye look and you really want to have like a beautiful vibrant skin finish and this looks great in the summertime on bronze skin it looks beautiful on deeper skin tones and I love this shade this next shade is called soft nectar and this is a very fresh peachy coral pink and it's a matte finish but this is just a beautiful classic healthy vibrant blush I would say that this is one of those shades that looks beautiful with a very light pink popped at the center of the cheek because it kind of helps give that dimension so you're not just wearing one tone all over it kind of goes like from light to deep but I just love how fresh and vibrant this is this is beautiful in the spring and summertime and this is sort of that shade I go to when I'm trying to mimic my natural flush like after going for a run just sort of that bright pinky coral flush. I feel like this looks great with no eye makeup and just like a really glossy lip. It's just that really fresh kind of girl next door color. And this also is so pigmented. It looks really great on deeper skin tones as well. This next shade is Desert Rose, and this is like a dusty rose pink with a slight coral in the base. So again, I wanted to have a little bit of that warmth because we all have a degree of warmth in our skin, and sometimes when I go a little bit too dusty or plummy with my blush, it doesn't translate to the rest of my makeup as well, so sometimes having that slight indetectable warmth just really helps make it wearable. But for me, this is like all of my friends. Like this is, m many women I know wear a blush shade like this. It's just this beautiful universal kind of like dusty pink. And and this also looks great on deeper skin tones. Um, I think it can work for pretty much anyone. And this is another one of those shades that just looks great with any eye look because it's not too cool, it's not too warm, it's not too light, it's not too deep. It's just like a really great kind of dusty pink that I think a lot of people love in their blush. And this shade looks really, really beautiful if you wanna pair it with something like Sakura. Like I mentioned earlier, just popping it right here in the center just to give that light right at the poutiest and most pillowiest part of your cheek. And then having this all over, these two look really, really beautiful together and this last shade is called Indian summer and this is a medium tawny rose with a matte finish and this is a beautiful beautiful shade and this is my favorite shade for deeper skin tones again this is one of those shades that can kind of transition for a lot of different eye looks but I love wearing this this is such a great winter shade for me especially because it just has that beautiful rosy finish um, it looks really really great on pale skin too just if you're going for that deep kind of like rosy pop of a cheek color um, I absolutely love this shade I think this is gonna be another bestseller for us because I feel like it's so universal and this is like a shade that growing up my mom always wore like it reminds me of a lot of the blush shades that she would always have which I would then steal so it's just sort of that tawny rose with a little bit of brown like ever so slight in the base um, this one's a little bit cooler than desert rose so let me compare them for you because these two shades are pretty close so I feel like this could be one of the more confusing ones if you're shopping online they're both like a similar depth but as you can see desert rose has a little bit more coral and Indian summer has a little bit more of that like kind of plummy brown at the base so this is like a tawny rose and this is more of like a dusty coral rose but they're both really beautiful and I wear both all the time here are all of the shades swatched and I'll start here with the lightest and this is Sakura vintage love angel suede Phoenix soft nectar desert rose and Indian Summer. I often like to wear two shades together. So as you can see, there's a lot of these shades that are really complementary that are perfect for pairing with one shade all over the cheeks and then the other that's just a bit brighter on the apples of the cheeks to help give that really flushed, youthful, vibrant cheek appearance. Um, I do this a lot with Vintage Love and then Pop Sakura just on the apples of the cheeks. I also do this a lot with Angel Suede all over and then I'll pop just Phoenix at the cheeks. Um, I love this with Indian Summer all over and Sakura on the apples of the cheeks and I do this a lot with desert rose all over and soft nectar just on the apples of the cheeks so there's a lot of different options with these shades there's some cool tones some warm tones some neutral tones and I really wanted to develop a range that could encompass a lot of different intensities and a lot of different undertones so that there would be something for everyone Okay, so those are all of the blushes. They retail for $29. Like I said, they're talc free and they're infused with a lot of hydrating, beautiful skincare ingredients that really help give that beautiful velvety, buttery blush look versus that kind of like powdery, cakey look as you're layering all of your powder products on your face. Um, and they do launch June 30th. I'll leave all the info below. And one more thing that is super exciting that is only launching on lawlessbeauty.com is that we are launching a Make Me Blush brush with this. 
and this is a project I'm so pumped about because it's my first tool I've ever done and brushes to me I think a lot of you guys know that brushes are one of those passion projects for me I'm super into brushes I think that a lot of people that struggle with their makeup or think that they are not good at makeup or can't do makeup really just don't have the right brushes or an understanding of how to use their brushes so I've been developing this brush for about a year and a half um, I wanted to get the fibers correct I wanted to get the handle correct I wanted to get the shape correct um, and I'm also cruelty free brand so I wanted it to be synthetic but with powder products natural hair just picks up and blends like nothing else so I really wanted to source a beautiful synthetic fiber that mimicked natural hair as closely as possible so this is the brush it's called the Make Me Blush Brush. This is my prototype, so it will not say lawless in white like that. This is just my lab sample because they actually haven't come in yet, but they will still be launching June 30th with the rest of the collection on lawlessbeauty.com. And this is the head. So as you can see, it's uber, uber soft bristles, completely synthetic, and the handle is FSC certified wood, meaning it's sustainably sourced and environmentally friendly. They're managed in a way that doesn't do damage to the environment, animals, and really um, takes into account how the wood is chopped. It's a really beautifully made brush. It has this gorgeous kind of brushed metal ferrule, and then these fibers, like I said, are so so soft but they're synthetic which is actually very hygienic they're easy to wash they mimic natural hair so closely so the way that they pick up powder and sweep it onto the skin is just so so beautiful this shape is a shape that I find perfect for blush. I've played with so many different blush brushes throughout the years and I always go for this classic dome shape. I love the way that it just hits the cheek right here and then sweeps and as you can see it just glides product onto the skin and just leaves the most gorgeous placement and it's really really hard to mess up your blush when you're using a brush like this because it's the perfect size to really hug the cheek. It's not going to disperse it too much but it's also not too small where it's going to pinpoint it and then you kind of have to blend it out. It really just sweeps on in one fell swoop so I highly recommend if you are someone that struggles with applying your makeup or has been looking for a really bomb blush brush that just applies so effortlessly and seamlessly I highly recommend this this is our first tool like I said I'm definitely wanting to do more brushes and tools for you guys but I kind of wanted to see how you responded to this because I've never done a tool before I don't know if that's something you guys want from me but brushes are just like such a passion of mine I have used so many brushes from so many brands I have a fixation with Japanese brushes I order them from overseas all the time I'm obsessed with the shape I'm obsessed with how they're put into the feral I'm obsessed with the handles um, ergonomically how they feel all of it so I would love to do more brushes for you guys um, if you end up loving this one so let me know if you pick it up how you like it but this will launch only on lawlessbeauty.com and quantities are somewhat limited so if you're interested definitely pick it up so that is the blush collection I hope that you guys are excited and I hope that you love it as much as I do this has been a long time coming and I've definitely heard your requests and seen them on social so I'm so excited to finally have them available for you and I can't wait to see you tagging looks wearing them which shades are your favorite how you apply them which combinations you do and all of that great stuff so I hope you're having a great day wherever you guys are and I will see you in my next video bye guys Bye.